What makes you hate yourself? Is it the red shoes? What? Is it the red shoes? No. Are you sure? Because they're fucking red. Don't you be smiling like that. You fuck everything up. You've been so hard on yourself. I love that you have such high standards. But those aren't high standards. That's called perfection. And most people overestimate what they can do in a year. And they underestimate what they can do in two or three decades. And you haven't been around long enough to have those extra two or three decades. So don't fuck it up. There's time. If you'll give yourself just a little bit of time, and if you'll be a little more loving to yourself, I think you're going to find you've got a lot to give. So if I asked your audience right now, or all you guys, if, what do you think most people focus on more? What they have or what's missing? The latter. What's missing. And including super achievers. Like some of the biggest achievers are always focusing on what's missing because they're always trying to get to the next level. So what happens? As a result, when you're always focused on what's missing, you cannot sustain happiness. It has nothing to do with how intelligent you are. It's just like software. Mm. So you always look at what's missing so you never feel fulfilled or alive, right? And so you keep being on the hamster wheel trying to do more and it's never enough. That's what people end up being pushing and pushing and pushing and you see them burn out. You have everything and they're miserable. We had never had money even for food. I mean, Thanksgiving with no food and my parents are fighting. I go to the door and there's this tall guy there. He's got two giant bags of groceries. On the ground, he's got an uncooked turkey in a pan. And he goes, is your father here? And I'm like, dad, dad, you gotta come open the door, right? And my dad's like, you open it. I said, I did, he said, it's for you. Hmm. Who is it? I don't know. So my dad goes, and I'm sitting like a little kid. I'm just so excited. We're going to have this incredible Thanksgiving dinner. It's going to save our family. Everybody's going to be happy. My dad was not happy when they opened the door. He looked at this guy with the groceries. Before the guy said a word, he said, we don't accept charity. And he went and slammed the door. And the guy's foot had been there. He wasn't trying to. It just bounced off his foot, which made my dad even more pissed. And he goes, sir, sir, I'm just the delivery guy. My father said, we don't accept charity. And at this point, the guy had leaned in a little bit. So it hit his shoulder and his foot and bounced out again. So now my dad's getting more mad. And then the guy, who's a palsy guy, even as a kid, I could see it. He saw me standing there, I probably saw it was on my face. And he goes, sir, please don't make your family suffer because of your ego. The number one thing that's gonna change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. Now I know that sounds boring, stupid, basic, but it's the truth. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. What does that mean? That sounds so boring and dumb. It means that all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. Remember I said earlier, we all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period.